What's going on YouTube? This is Dre the Plug coming at you guys with some more technical heat. And in this video, I'm just gonna describe to you guys how to add a VM to any project that you're pretty much working on. Everybody have a VM. If you're wondering what's a VM, just know it's in every single cell phone. It stands for vibrating motor. And basically this little thing right here, typically make your whole phone vibrate. This whole, this little bitty thing right there, make your whole phone vibrate. Look at how tiny it is. So yeah, this little thing, it just gives your whole entire device a vibrated notification. So every single time you get a notification or you get a call or somebody texts you or somebody hits you with a comment on the ground, this is pretty much what is doing that and making your phone vibrate. This little bitty thing that's smaller than my fingernail. It just vibrates really, really, really quick and it shakes the whole entire device. So I'm gonna show you guys how to incorporate this into your project. So that way you can get some vibrating notifications every single time something happen or something activate, you can actually get a feel for it, literally. Let's get into the video, man. All right, y'all, so jumping into the construction work of the entire project. So as you guys can see, I have my blue wire for my power. And of course I have my black wire for my ground, just so I don't get them mixed up. So I just connected it last night, I pretty much solder both of these together so they connect and then I just put some tape around them just so they'll stay. But yeah, I pretty much made it to where I actually have a pin where I could stick it into my Arduino. So showing you guys what I ended up doing to really give you guys a good example of how the vibrator motor work, I pretty much coded it to kind of turn on and turn off really, really quick just so you guys could get a pretty good visual demonstration. I coded it to pin six. Of course, I'm gonna put the code down in the description below like I always do. I make the code and then I drop it for y'all. So I'm about to plug it up to six. It's in there, all right. So as you guys can see, you see how it vibrates? So this is how y'all phone vibrate. If you ever wanna have a vibrating component onto your project, which give you that physical notification, this is pretty much what it is. And this is pretty much what you'll add to your project. So that's it right there, right? But I mean, if you want more power than that, right? This is like a low, low power. It's like a typical vibration right here. It's probably like equivalent to like a cell phone. Like Y'all can't really tell through the video, but like if you really like hold it, you can really feel the sense of the whole entire thing vibrating. Like it's, it's powerful for sure. So then let's say, actually move it, right? Let's say I give it, put it inside of the 3.3 volt right here. This pin right here. You can clearly see the power difference. Like you could hear it too. You could barely see it vibrating. That's how quickly it's moving back and forth. You could barely see it. Super strong, super strong vibrating motor, man. Like this is way stronger than a cell phone vibration right here. Way stronger than a cell phone vibration. Like I barely feel it coming off my finger. That's how quick it's moving up and down. So yeah, that's if you want to get it at that 3.3 volts. As you guys can see, it's moving so quick. So now let's get into the actual five volts, right? Unplug it. Now I'm put it inside of my five volts. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You could clearly hear how strong it is. I have to just give you guys a sense of how quick it's moving. Look at the wire, man. It's how quick, like it's moving right now. Like this is, this is too strong for a cell phone right here. It's too quick. But just to give you guys a sense, if you want to like add this to your project, you could easily just put it right there and then have it to vibrate whenever anything is activated, anything is triggered instantly start vibrating extra quick like you can't the camera can't even keep up with how fast the vibrator motor moving you know what i'm saying but yeah so this is how your cell phone vibrates so yeah just to give you guys a sense of what it is what it look like so it's basically like more you got your power ground and pretty much if you want to stick it on to something, you could just peel this part right off on the back. And boom. This area right here is really, 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 really sticky. Like if you stick it on something, there's a good chance it will not move. 
But if you want to put super glue around it just to be even more safe, that'll be cool too. But yeah, this is pretty much it. This is your whole entire vibrator motor, like literally smaller than my nail, man. I think it's tiny. But what I'll end up doing is I'll end up burning some of this enamel code on both ends is burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. And then I'll just put a wire on the end of it. That way it'll be easier to connect for your Arduino or just connect it to like anything really just to add it to a circuit. Cause this right here ain't gonna cut it. This is just way too tiny. This way too tiny, that ain't gonna cut it. It's just gonna end up vibrating so hard that it's gonna just come off the circuit or it's just gonna move somewhere and it's gonna just uh, fall off. So. I just recommend that you like burn some of this off and then just connect it to a wire and then connect it to your circuit because then you'll be Gucci. Then you'll be straight. But yeah, this is pretty much it though. So yeah, man, it comes in a pack of five. I feel like that's a pretty good deal saying that it's only five bucks. It's pretty much about a dollar for one. But I feel like when you have a whole vibration notification added to your project, for a dollar, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. I feel like it's a win-win both ways for the customer and the consumer. So I mean, definitely pick up a vibrator motor, add that vibration notification to your project, man, because it really makes a huge difference to the project. So a disclaimer I kind of want to just throw out there. If you end up putting multiple vibrator motors on the same circuit, what I mean by that is if basically, let's say you just use one power and one ground and you put a bunch of vibrating motors on one particular circuit. So it won't pretty much act as a light wheel, like typically a light, you'll see that the lights, the more you add into it, the lights will become dimmer and dimmer because all of the electricity is flowing through that one circuit going through it. And the same thing will happen for the vibrating motor. But like when you do lights, the lights they still show, but it'll just be a little bit dimmer. But when it comes down to these vibrating motors, like it really takes the juice out of it once it start, once it start getting electricity going to other things. Like it's nowhere near as powerful. Like I feel like lights, it get dim, but I mean, you can still see the light. But when it comes to these vibrating motors, like it's not the same once you start adding them together. So it's better to just make separate ones if you ask me just like make it its own designated pin for each individual thing you're trying to do or at least have one vibrator and motor within each circuit what's going on youtube this is your boy dre the plug about to jump into this code for y'all real quick for the vibrator motor so as you guys can see i have const and then i have vr vr just for vibrator motor like i say in all my videos you can name this whatever you want but i just put vr just so we'll know that this is the one for the vibrator motor then i have it set equal to six so that's the particular pin that i'm gonna use when i actually use an arduino six pins specifically Right after that, I have my void set up because I got to set up my power to actually output some power onto this vibrator motor. So I got pin mode, which is basically going to trigger that electricity to come out of the Arduino. Then I have parentheses VR, call my output because I want the electricity to actually shoot out and actually go into the pin and actually activate that vibrator motor. Next, I have my void loop. I have digital right because I want power to actually go through this particular point where I have VR then I have comma high in C++ language this means turn on and then I have a delay of 50 milliseconds which is extremely extremely quick so it's going to turn on in 50 milliseconds and then the next instruction is basically digital right VR again and then it's going to be low in C++ language low means turn off then I have delay 50 milliseconds again so you could just imagine Based on this right here, looping is just going to go boom, 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 boom. Then just come right back to the top and boom, 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 boom. So just know it's going to turn on extremely, extremely quick. This is going to turn off extremely, extremely quick. So that way we can actually get a legit vibrating motor vibration effect. So we can get that perfect vibration for when it's actually triggered. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help the channel. Definitely go check out my Instagram, DreTheplug123. And then go also check out my other YouTube channel. I'll have a link down below. This was the channel I started a little while ago. 
Or it's basically about barbering and basically giving your own self a fresh cut and looking nice when you step out the house. So definitely check out that channel. I do all types of different haircuts. And be looking forward for the next video that drops. And I'm out.